What is up and I welcome each and every one of you back to a brand new Civ 6 or Civilization 6 Deity Challenge. We're back at it again with the Infinite Faith Great Bath Strategy. Look at all these heals. I mean, come on, 14 Faith from one tile? Absolutely insane. You add that in with the Void Singer Secret Society's Chorus and our science and culture is doing fairly well considering the fact we have like one campus in our entire empire. But now it is time to just Infinite Settler Spam. Look at all these cities I could get. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We could still build fourteen cities. And we have how many? We already have like twelve cities, which is absolutely insane. So what we're gonna do, cities that can will continue building settlers, like Memphis, Rocketit, Swinette, Akita Han, whatever that city's name is. And uh, cities like this are just probably gonna have to get another builder at this point. We'll get a trader here though. We are making a lot of money due to secret societies as well. Can we get a builder in this city? Uh, does it? Okay, we can almost get it. Okay, we can get a builder now, I think, because this city, this city's got really good potential. We just have to work it out a little bit. Uh, we'll get another farm here just for some growth. You're getting a harbor as well. What, how much does that give me? That's a lot of culture we could get from the Maui improvement. And you get me some production from that mine. And you could just get that iron tile. We could produce a little bit more iron, which is nice. And just like that, we are absolutely, we are so close to taking over this game. We are about to destroy this game. But for now, we just have to focus on building as many. And Mount Kilimanjaro might be a problem. Actually, let's go ahead now and take Liang because she does have the reinforced materials. And we'll go ahead and put her in the city of Thebes so it doesn't get destroyed. But I think for right now, who are we working? Uh, doesn't really... Okay, go chop that, I think. And then here, you could actually go and make a trade route towards Lublin, probably. Try to prevent them from declaring war on us. We'll get, like, a corporation there or something. And we'll just continue building some of these tiles. But we're looking really, really good. Is that flooded? That looks weird. That kind of looks like it's flooded. It might be flooded. It's coastal low. It is flooded. Oh, because we're automatically at level 2 because of... What? What resources am I using? Wait, wait how, what's... My total contribution is literally... I, I don't even know what's going on right now. But apparently my CO2 contribution is uh, pretty bad. So I guess we're coastal floodplains level 2 or whatever. Can I still work that? I could still work that tile. Okay, so that's fine. If I could still work that tile, it's not really flooded now, is it? Let's continue moving. We get another Maui improvement. We're going to make a lot of culture from these Maui improvements. In fact, I think we could also buy like five different uh, soothsayers still. There's a tornado outbreak. That's not very good. I hope it doesn't come towards me. Buy a soothsayer there, and then you can go and where's... Okay, where's this? Okay, that settler's going there, so let's delete that pin. And then you could come over... No, nope, not you. The settler can come over there, and then we can delete that pin. I want a lot of cities. That's essentially what the game plan is going to be. Uh, continue building settlers, because you can get them in like 10 turns, and you can get a mine up there. You're going to probably chop mine that. We're just trying to get these cities as uh, big as possible. I do have the builder policy card locked in right now, so we should be getting a lot. Uh, but you can move in there. And there's Uluru, I think, which is pretty nice. I don't really care about that. Who's at war? Did we get declared war on Saladin? That's actually completely fine. I'm good with that. Can we make a military alliance with you? Wait, what's your military strength? 74. That's probably not the best idea. But uh, I guess we're kind of locked in right now. Get me some production. We'll go ahead, flood another river. Thanks to the Great Bath, nothing gets damaged. And we get a butt ton of faith. We'll build a mine up there. We'll chop mine this old god obelisk, and then we'll just get a granary for some growth. And, uh, yeah, by the time we're finished settling all this land, we should be super far ahead in science and culture. Although the one problem is, obviously, as that tornado just continues move. Oh my god, is that... You good? Okay, I think the tornado's done, and we didn't even... Do... No, we didn't lose a settler. Okay, that's nice. That's pretty good. Uh, let's continue moving. You're gonna go there now and, uh, do another flood-type thingy, and you're gonna need a builder. You are going to need the builder immediately, actually. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff damaged, wasn't there? Okay, here, you're going to have to repair the industrial zone first, and you could just go ahead and get another mine. And uh, you're going to chop mine that if you can, and you're going to get another Maui improvement just to give us infinite culture, which is always a good sign. Look at all that culture. Um, are we following Poland's religion? Is that what they like about me? Let's see. Saint... Uh, oh, faith output. Okay, that makes a lot of sense, actually. So, hey, we're friends with Poland. That's pretty nice, actually. It's actually really good for us. We might be able to make friends with them. Let's continue building these Maui improvements because they're super, super strong. And uh, go get a mine up there or something. All right, cool, cool. We should be able to settle two settlers super soon. And we have another one coming in as well. Let's try to make this me with my infinite amount of Diplo favor, obviously. <laughs> I'll also try to get that pass. So cultural and Cleopatra. Can we get one at least? 
Uh, we got we got the Cleopatra extra trade route one, but uh, that's pretty much it. Let's go settle this city now. We got three settlers out and running, and my Petra city has been absolutely amazing. Just nothing short of insane. It's been one of my it's been my best city like completely without a doubt. Let's continue moving. You are you have plenty of chops. So you can go and repair that tile as well, and uh, you're just gonna chop mine that probably. I don't think you could mine because you're dead. Maybe yeah, you're all used up. You are all used up. Let's use the Maui improvement. Look at all the culture we're getting from Thebes. Thebes looks like an amazing city. And with Liang, these mountains aren't going to do anything to us. The only person who's like might have trouble. Like even though this is a mine, even if it gets pillaged, it's still going to get a lot of yields and tiles and stuff like that, which is great. Uh, you're going to get the workshop. Go repair that tile. And um, I guess you could come and get a farm in there for Rock Edit probably. Yeah, Rock Edit's looking really good. Uh, let's go for the most production, which is Rock Edit in this city. That's fine. Uh, you're going to go get a mine, and I think I could get the granary if I wanted to in this city. Let's see, because I th yeah, you still you still don't have the watermill. I think we'll get the watermill. Memphis is by far my best city. Let's continue moving right now. Uh, this settler being built in 18 turns doesn't really help us out too much, but I guess it's fine. We're already in a pseudo normal age, I guess. We're technically gonna be in a normal age. Who wants my niter? You want my niter, and then we could just use it to buy this uh, lighthouse. And you could just go ahead and probably just hard build the... Tr nope, you're terrible production-wise. Get a builder. And uh, we'll trade some iron, maybe. Nice. And then we could buy a trader in this city. Cool. Rock headed here. You could just go to... Uh, yeah, go back to Lublin. I just don't want them to declare war on me. And we'll continue getting farms over here. And I completely forget we could get, like, five different soothsayers. All right, let's, uh, let's buy them all. Let's actually buy all these soothsayers. Cool. It's great, and then we get another city right now. I don't know how many cities that is, but that is a lot of cities we have right now. And then that's another tradable luxury. Traded to Genghis Khan, who we just met off video. Uh, but we're looking great right now. We're at 100, and we're almost number one in culture right now. Science, we're a little bit behind, but honestly, science, we could easily catch up super duper soon. Uh, you can move in through there, and then I want to get Kahoki on my side if I can. Actually, let's try to get Candy back on our side as well. And uh, trade route-wise, you could go ahead and uh, trade with Lublin or something. I don't know. Uh, you're going to move, and I think you fled the same river. Yes, you do. So that's a lot more faith. And you'll do the same thing next turn. And then I think you do the same thing with this river, right? So 8 becomes 9. Yes, you do. Okay, that's great. Uh, go get a farm or something or a sphinx or whatever. And you're just going to go... I just want you to get uh, production, I think, more than anything. Yeah, just give me like lots of production. This city has a lot of potential for production right now. We'll get that, and then we're just going to continue spamming out settlers when we can. We got a lot of settlers we could really get at this point. Um, all right, well, can you chop that before this forest fire gets out of control? I'd appreciate that. Now, let's flood all these rivers again, and then we'll flood you again. And just like that, we're making a lot more faith than we were before. And, uh, cool, get me another mine up there. You're going to go and settle this city right there, the city of Apu. Uh, okay, go move there. <laughs> Quickie, Mark. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, okay, how many cities do we have right now? F 5, 7, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's a lot of cities. That is a lot of cities right now. And you can build more, right? Can you build another one? Yeah, 13 turns isn't bad. And you're going to harvest that just in case that thing gets a little too out of control. Give me a lumber mill and uh, get me a sphinx tile, I think. And then we'll continue moving. You have all that. That's fine. We have so... Oh, wow, Genghis actually has a lot of cities too. Damn, he's got a lot of cities too, actually. Never mind. I might not be the only one with like an infinite amount of cities. Uh, let's get a trader. You've gotten your like one settler that you could potentially get at this stage of the game. Here in Shed It, just get me a university. Really nothing else for you to do. We need production. So go get me some production. And we could get a shipyard. Uh, I think getting a granary here is the better idea, though. And you're just going to go and uh, chop that again. And mine that. And farm that, probably. And you could just go and get a lumber mill up there. Or chop that or something. I don't know. In any case, we do have how many settlers? We have one settler going out. Another one coming in super soon. And here, you're just going to get another builder. You, We just got to wait till these cities grow up a little bit. They're still... It's going to take a while for them to get to like 7, 8 population where they could start being really, really effective. But once they do, we should be really, really good. Uh, but let's keep moving for now. It's a great person time. Instantly creates a quadrium unit. Wow. But at the very least, we do get like our first naval unit, which is nice. Go do that. And uh, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Boom. Wow, we actually got a boat. Absolutely insane. Uh, let's keep moving. Industrialization is coming up soon. We're only making 92 signs per turn. Where's uh, Saladin on the tech tree? Oh, he's super far ahead, actually. 
So we turn 156, so I'm not like too worried or anything. I, I, I probably should actually start working on infrastructure right now. Uh, where are you going? Yeah, you're going there. I should probably start working on infrastructure, actually. Uh, that's fine, though. I do want to just get all these cities settled, like, immediately. Uh, you're gonna get the obelisk. Uh, you are going to... Wow, a shipyard is super expensive. You're gonna have to buy one. Farm or something, and... Do... Can we still build the Marianu Chariot Archer? I don't think I've gotten error score for that. I don't think I've gotten error... Can... Ooh, that's big. Ooh, that was big. That was absolutely huge. I just realized we didn't actually use the Marianu Chariot Archer. So I'm like, wait a minute, can I still buy it? I could still buy it. And now we are in a golden age. Absolutely perfect. We're just going to go ahead and continue playing right now. I'm going to start working on infrastructure, even though I do want to settle like infinite cities. We're trying to right now go for as much science as we possibly can. Here with the campus, you could get yourself a nice solid plus two right on that sheeple tile. Go get me that lighthouse, and you're going to go and uh, chop that, probably. And this other settler could just move and get that giant's castaway city. Good, we're just going to hit next turn. Where are you going, exactly? I have no idea. Oh, uh, no, no, okay, that, that's where you guys are going. Never mind. In any case, there is the Industrial Era Golden Age. Believe me, if Monumentality is available, I am taking it. But uh, looking at this right now, it is not. So I'm actually going to go for... Let's go for Heartbeat of Steam for right now. There really isn't anything too crazy in the Industrial Era. We'll get that, and then we'll go ahead and uh, get another Soothsayer. And we're pretty much just going to wait until, like, something happens and we get a commercial hub, which might not happen, actually. But let's hit next turn. There's some Niter up there as well. Lots of resources, and we lose Suzerainty of Candy again. Well, let's move down there, I guess, and just flood as much as possible, because look at all the faith we're going to be making. 252 faith per turn. And how much? 20% of that, which is 20, 40. We're getting 50 of our science and culture and gold just from our faith per turn at this point, which is insane. Uh, we don't need a dam in this city. Could you get a decent? You could get a decent. You could get a six. Oh, I forgot we had desert folklore, actually. So, yeah, give me that holy site. You do that. We could still spread our religion if we wanted to. In fact, I don't think that's a bad idea. You know what? Screw it. We're going to start spreading our religion now. Uh, we should probably reform it and try to get, like, World Church or something, but we are gonna start spreading our religion. Uh, what do you- what can we even do here at the- okay, just get a campus. Plus three campus, that's what we're gonna do. You're gonna get a campus. You get some mines, I guess, and food, but we're gonna start spreading our religion right now while we build up everything. Get me the obelisk, I guess, and then you can go get some production, probably. Good, 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 good. Poland likes me because I'm making, like, 262 faith per turn. That's great. And I could actually make friends with Poland, too. That's really, really nice for me. So let's make friends with Poland. We'll make friends with Saladin. And Poland, actually, I'm going to get a research alliance with, and then we'll start trading. Wilhelmina, I guess we could get an economic alliance. And then Saladin here, we'll just get a religious alliance, I guess, just so we can't get a religious alliance with anybody nearby to him. And we, oh, wow, we actually have this settler as well. Okay, where are you going there? We have another one going there, which means this guy could actually come over there, which is good for us. Nice. And get me a lumber mill. And, uh, yeah, let's actually evangelize the belief first. And cross-culture dialogue, I think, is going to be massive for us, especially with our super high population. And then we'll get another apostle and do the same thing. And we'll actually, right now, just go ahead and start focusing on uh, spreading our religion, which somehow hasn't died right now. And we might even get the city of Plock. We will get the city of Plock, actually. We're going to get the city of Plock to rebel and join us, which should help our eastern front a little bit. Uh, speaking of eastern front, though, Poland. <laughs> Poland eastern front, that's funny. In any case, let's go get the ship yard right there that should give us steam power and um yeah give me a library evangelize the belief again and you're actually gonna go for like a campus over there i don't want to remove the one production tile you have access to give me another campus and then right now we could go for i guess scripture is probably better we'll go scripture i could go for the settler one but i've already settled like almost everything i've wanted to so right now, just getting like a couple apostles every few turns is going to be the move. And we'll start spreading them. We should be making the most faith in the game, actually. I'm making 260. Yeah, no one, like Arabia is like somewhat close to us. But aside from that, no one is really anywhere near us at this point when it comes to faith per turn. In any case, we'll continue moving. Good, good. And then production-wise here in this city, get me a... Uh, could you get me a... Wow, your production sucks. Your production, absolutely. It's just terrible at this point. Give me another builder and get some niter, I think. Your production is just god-awful. And then we could go ahead and try to get Cahokia on our side. What do you need? Religious conversion. Not going to happen, but Cahokia mounds are still pretty strong. Uh, go get banana. And then aside from that, this guy's going to come there. 
Wait, could I just could I just launch an Inquisition? I think I'm just gonna launch an Inquisition. I think that's good, right? Because then here I could buy some Inquisitors for like super cheap, and then may reduce the presence. And ooh, yeah, yeah, because then I could like convert my cities for like super cheap as well. And then like we already have some cities in the north being converted to my religion. I think we'll be fine doing just that. And uh, you're gonna get a mine. That's fine. And then we'll just hit next turn. Perfect. All right, where are you going exactly? You're probably going over there. You're going over there somewhere. And then you're going to go and immediately settle the city right near Giant's Causeway. We might be able to make back-to-back -back Golden Ages, which would be insane. And, um, yeah, give me a university right now. Okay, Inquisition. Okay, so they just removed the religion. All right, I mean, it's not, it's not the worst thing in the world, I don't think. Uh, it's not the best, obviously, but it still isn't that bad. Uh, we'll go ahead and get suzerainty of both Cahokia and Candy right now, which is good. Cahokia mounds are pretty strong. And I guess simultaneous, and we need as much faith as we can. Yeah, we'll do that. And then this guy needs orders still. Harvest some food, and Plock is going to rebel, I think. Plock is going to rebel unless they put a governor in there. They might have a governor. Well, no, we're allies. We'd know if they have a... Yeah, they don't have a governor in the city of Plock, actually. Kind of stupid, but okay. Are you two turns away? You're two turns away from rebelling. Wow. All right, you're going to do that. Here, you're just going to get a camp. Ah, oh, we're going to have to sacrifice this for the campus. Kind of sucks, but it needs to be done. And then you're going to do the same thing. And yeah, we're pretty much just going to go for as many campuses as we possibly can. And we'll get a Cahokia mound here for the housing and amenities, which is pretty insane. Uh, okay, we can... Okay, never mind. Inquisitors actually spread religion, which is pretty cool. Nice. We'll actually buy another Inquisitor if we can. Good, and can we buy... Uh, we could buy another Apostle. And then we're just going to keep buying those guys. Give me a Cahokia amount, because they also give amenities. Give me that Chop Mine combo, and just like that, 152, 143, we are starting to catch up to everybody else. I don't... Actually, we'll help Saladin, because it's sending gift golds, and that's like for a Diplo victory, even though we're not really close to a Diplo victory. I should probably do these scored competitions like every time I can, honestly, because they're just so good. Uh, let's go ahead and buy the Temple, and I guess we should also probably Faith buy as many Watts as we can, right? All right, well, at the very least, you'll be able to build one until we convert you. Watts are pretty strong, and then you can get a mine. Uh, we get an apostle right here. The city's converting anyway. Uh, we just sort of have to convert, like, our empire towards the uh, south, I think. Prostalizer. Yes, that's very, very good for us right now. You move there. Continue converting this guy, and then you're going to go convert Swinette. And I guess we'll actually send this guy to go convert uh, the western cities. Go convert Thebes first, I guess. And go get that uh, corporation over there just to help you out. Good, 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 good guy. And you can just get a lumber mill. And could you get another Cahokia mound? No. Just get a farm then, and then we could get a lumber mill or something. Cool. But just like that, we are back in the game. And who declared war on who? Uh, Jadwiga declared war on Guitarsha. Okay, so it's good. <laughs> pretty good. Oh, no, that's not good. It's pretty good that I made an alliance with uh, Poland. We're going to get Plock at 11 turns. I just hope they don't, like, uh, just take us out or something with the line infantry. That would kind of suck. Uh, let's keep moving. Apostle right here. Okay, I think this Inquisitor could just... Yeah, you could convert Rocketit now to Sacrificial Lambs. And then you come convert that city. And then... Okay, do you have a temple? Yes, so we can actually get a... Can I get another Inquisitor still? We can still get Inquisitors. That's pretty interesting. Uh, but okay, you're going to move there with one charge left. You're going to stop the city from being converted. Nice. And just like that, we're just like uh, the counter Inquisition, I guess. Nobody expects the Egyptian Inquisition. And yeah, look at all the... Yeah, we're starting to convert everybody right now. Uh, let's go ahead and make friends with Katarja. Yep, that's not going to change. We'll get Raj right there, and everything else should be fine. Let's make friends with Katarja. Cool, and then we'll get a, I guess, military alliance with you again. Uh, Production-wise, get me the shipyard, library, and uh, we could get Venice or... Oh, Venice is closer to get than Hansa for sure. Let's get that production. Kokia mounts are OP. Uh, you're going to promote now to Orator's a pretty good one. And Lumber Mill. Great. And just like that, we are super duper good right now. We'll go convert Thebes to Sacrificial Lambs. The problem is, like, loyal uh, religion-wise, we're kind of losing pressure, I guess, for the most part. Uh, let's give this to Sacrificial Lambs. And then this is obviously going to be production. There's no doubt about it. So I think that's the best move to do. Sacrificial Lambs and production was Sacrificial Lambs. So they really have no chance at stopping me from, like, reconverting everything. Let's go convert this city. And uh, there's no Apostle here. So let's go do that. And you're going to get, like, another... I don't know how many more I can get. Can I get more Inquisitors? To I can get even... How many can I get? 
from like launching an inquisition wait a minute can i get more okay no i can't get any more now actually no you don't have a holy site do you have a holy site you don't i could still get wow i don't know how long launching an inquisition lasts for uh let me know down below in the comments because apparently i'm just completely confused i didn't think it would last this long in any case here in memphis let's go ahead and get ourselves uh you know what give me a commercial hub actually we got to use that one guy and uh, you could go ahead and buy me a builder and another trader for now. Good. And then you're just going to go convert uh, the city of Cyrene. Give me a university in my capital city. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and settle. I think that's the second last city. I still think there's uh, one more settler coming. There was a settler coming. Th oh, yeah, there he is. There he is. He's Okay, that's that settler. Okay, I thought, thought he died in like a forest fire or something. That would have sucked. Let's get a Cahokia mound here for housing and amenities. You're going to start getting some more production and stuff. And I think I could probably just trade a lot of luxuries. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of gold we're going to be getting. That is a massive amount of gold. That's insane. And then we could just hit next turn. Cool, cool, cool. We're going to get Plock as well in like nine turns. I'm just hoping I don't lose like traders to Plock or something. Uh, Something happened. I think Mega Colossal Volcano. Okay, that doesn't matter. Not to me, at least. Do not care about that. Uh, Move through there. That's another Inquisitor, so move to move to Abydos right now. And uh, builder-wise, we're just going to continue getting mines and stuff. We'll start trading with Poland a little bit more. And just like that, our science is beginning to absolutely skyrocket. This might be game over already. This might actually already be game over. Let's go convert a Euthia. Lit next turn, and we are starting to spread this religion far and wide. Look at that. And you'll get a farm up through there. We'll hit next turn. Cool. And, okay, how many cities do we need to convert? Okay, these cities are starting to lose a little bit of pressure, I think. Especially once we get this guy here and begin converting that. Okay, there's an ironclad. That's good. Because what we could do is we can make the ironclad unit, and then we can immediately delete him right afterwards. So we make an extra call per turn. Go get me a shrine. Uh, go and uh, do your job as... Actually, I could fight this guy. That's a minor defeat. Major defeat, actually. All right, that's fine, though. You're going to go and convert the city of Swinnet. Go and... Uh, I'm assuming... Yeah, that's not bad, actually. We could do that. And then you could get, get fishies and lumber mill and uh, another lumber mill and just uh, next turn for this point. Good. Okay, we still have... We have a lot of cities to convert still. Plock's coming to us, which is good. But aside from that, let's... Okay, there's metal casting... We've converted a Beatos right now. Uh, that's a lot of science and a lot of coal up there. Let's get that. Screw it. Yeah, screw it. We'll just go get that, I think. Yeah, we got to get campuses everywhere, I think. Okay, good. And you're just going to move in through there, probably. Nice. Get me a... Get me some mines now, actually. And uh, farm that. Inquisition that. And then we can farm that and then maybe get a... Whatever that thing is called. Cahokia Mound. And you could start converting a Euthia. I think we need help converting a Euthia, actually. So we'll go get help converting a Euthia. And just like that, we should have, like, the Eastern. We do have the Eastern portion right now completely converted to our religion. Uh, wow, this you're lucky you're alive. Actually, very lucky you're alive. And then you can just go up there. Go get me a mine. Shed it right now. Get me a temple. We can get Gerdurwas everywhere for food and stuff. And, uh, yeah, go convert Senna, I guess. And then you're going to convert this. You're going to go there and finish the conversion. You're going to go get rice. Uh, you're going to move there. Could you convert this guy? You could. I'm going to wait four turns until he finishes the Watt. You know what? I'm just going to faith. It's like 300 faith. It's not that expensive. And then we could convert this city and uh, get me a granary. And you could... Yeah, we're just... Wow, that was super fast. We've been able to convert these cities so fast. It's insane. These cities should be able to convert by themselves. But I think I'm just going to do it with raw religion. We're now making almost 200 science. That's insane. We don't, need, we don't even have campuses everywhere. We're making so many yields. There's another Appease the Gods mission. Don't care. Uh, let's go get uh, Candy back on our side. And you're going to go and, I guess, go to this city. Yeah, just to help the other cities convert a little bit faster. Go get me a mine. And that's a Cahokia mound I think we could use. And uh, we'll use your Inquisition to get another Sacrificial Lambs. And boom, another Sacrificial Lambs. Settle that city of Kamun, Kamai, whatever it's called. And get me a builder. And just like that. How many cities do I even have? 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I have 20 cities right now. Oh, no. That's actually an insane amount of cities right now. Can we get a... We could get theater squares. I don't even... Okay, you know what? Let's get an entertainment complex. Because I feel like amenity-wise, we are struggling. 
Doubt we could still get the Colosseum, but at the very least, we can make some amenities happen. Let's convert that. Uh, you're going to go convert the city of Apu, and you're going to go just get that, I think. And then here in Rock Edit, I guess we'll just go ahead and get another Inquisitor. No, I, I, I meant a Soothsayer, not Inquisitor. But uh, I, we don't have enough money for actually an Apostle, so that's fine. Uh, give me some Cahokia mounts as well. Should help the amenity problems, and I should be getting Cahokia mounts everywhere. Two more Envoys. We'll send them towards uh, Venice, I guess. Cool, we'll send him towards Venice, lit next turn, and uh, yeah, just like that, I'll take your embassy, good, 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 and two wars have happened right now, as long as no, the Genghis Khan doesn't declare war on anybody, I should be fine, uh, it's converting in 29 turns, it's converting in 50, so let's go to that one, soothsayer time, just natural disaster time as well, give me a corporation, uh, inquisitor right now, I guess you could go and uh, inquisition some of this stuff, probably, d d not as if we need it though, yeah, the Apostle alone should be fine to convert most of it. Farm, yeah, this is going to be a really high population, low production city. But aside from that, I am liking the way this game is going right now. We're doing really, really well. 200 science, 180 culture, and it's just going to keep skyrocketing. It's just going to keep going up as we get more faith, more production, more culture, all that good stuff. Hard build the Gurdurwa. We're going to even start, look at that. All these cities are starting to look good when it comes to production as well. Let's go ahead. We'll get some Cahokia Mounds in Memphis. Go ahead and convert this city to sacrificial lands. And I think you convert this city, yes. And the other city should be converted like super soon. That should be another amenity, I think, for two Cahokia Mounds. Yeah, we're looking good. We could still settle like uh, six cities. Honestly, I probably didn't even need like five of the settlers I built. Uh, but we are going to get the city of Plock right now. Now here in Plock, I think the biggest thing we need is uh, food. Or housing, I guess. Yeah, we desperately need housing. So uh, get me the arena. And then get me a zoo for like adjacent amenities and you can just get an industrial zone after because you're like a super duper production city right now like you're absolutely insane uh we'll get a workshop here and i think we're actually going to move pingala now to rock edit he's in swinette but he'd get a lot more mileage out of rock edit right now go get me a library in there you're fine you here can just uh get uh get, get that tile actually if we can good we'll keep moving uh, don't, okay, we're going, these cities are all going to be converted super soon, I think. Converts in 35, converts in 9. I guess we'll, uh, go convert Edith. It's like the last Catholicism city we have. We'll trade with Poland again because they're our science alliance. And yeah, we're making so much money too that we're not going to be able to spend. Uh, let's buy that. And we'll just continue faith buying soothsayers at this point, I think. The more we could get, the better. Uh, go get that. I wonder how well my strategy would be if I won some of those, like, uh, promotions. Like, the appease the god promotion things. If I built some more units, I probably would try to do that. Uh, get me a library. We'll get a harbor in this city. And, cool. Let's do the disaster one. And you're going to just get a minor sphinx up there or whatever. Nice. And, uh, soothsayer time. Awesome. Sacrificial lambs. And then we'll just convert. Yeah, we're literally, we've just converted each and every one of our cities almost. Aside from the city of Mendez, I guess. Oh, yep. It doesn't do anything because of, uh, Liang in that city, which is amazing. We'll get another trader, I think. And then here you could get yourself a lighthouse. And then you're going to do the same disaster again. Perfect. And you're just going to go and probably convert, um... Go convert this city down there, actually. That looks like a good idea to convert. But yeah, we've pretty much converted everything we have. How much? We're making 21 science from our beliefs, which is great, actually. And the Gradurwas should give us some uh, housing and stuff like that, which is great. So Meteor Shower. And I think what we need to do now, more than anything, is entertainment complexes everywhere. I think that's the thing. Okay, let me just make sure we can't build the Colosseum. No. No, it would have always been a long shot, but like building the Colosseum at this stage sometimes happens. It's not the rarest thing in the world. 231 science. We just keep going up. We don't even have research labs yet. Oh, somebody died from the catastrophic eruption. That kind of sucks. I think what I want to do, since Liang is in the city, we'll swap these tiles and then swap these tiles. You, you, the city of Memphis has the Petra right now, so it doesn't really need the other tiles. Uh, we're going to get the mausoleum right now. Can we get it in this city, actually? Can we get the mausoleum in this city? No, it has to be near a harbor, I think. Okay, we'll get the mausoleum here. Uh, we kind of have to at this point because, uh, yeah, the mausoleum right now is going to be super big for us, I think. Because it's going to allow us to get, like, more great engineer points later on. Ooh, yeah, we're going to do that now. Cool, hit next turn. Uh, we got about two minutes remaining in this video until I have to stop. Uh, but, I mean, just the way this game has been going right now has been insane. 
we're in the uh, next era. Okay, 14 turns. I don't. I think we're going to be in a Dark Age now. We could go Colossus. That's a good idea, actually. The Colossus is a good idea. No, if no one's taking it now, no one is going to take it in general. Uh, get me a Granary because your production's god-awful. We'll hit next turn. Great. We could probably build a canal right there. Ooh, we could build a canal right there. That wouldn't be bad. Maybe if I was going for a naval game, it would be really, really good. But, uh, okay, I think the best thing to actually do right now is all these science buildings. We're going to go buy a library. We'll buy a university. And you know what? No, no, that's not the best idea. I think the best idea for us right now is just to save up until we could buy a couple of research labs. Buying two or three research labs in like Memphis and Rock Edit immediately is going to be really effective, I think. Let's keep moving right now. 284 now. We're making a lot and lot of resources. Uh, let's get some campuses literally everywhere. Like every single place we're going to be getting these guys. We'll also get Connoisseur for like way more culture as well. This is looking great. Rationalism is going to be good for... Actually, I think liberalism would be nice. We're just going to keep our uh, rationalism, though. The more science, the better. And go convert this city. Next turn it. Uh, better that I lack land to claim and Whatever. It's, it's something he said about claiming land. Uh, okay, this city's not converting as quickly as I would like. That's fine, though. Go convert this city almost, I guess, for the most part. And uh, get me the Ruhr Valley. I I'd rather get the Ruhr Valley in Memphis if I could. So actually, you're going to get me an entertainment complex over there. And then we could get a zoo and just get like lots of stuff. Give me a factory. Actually, ooh, I can't get the Ruhr Valley. If I was one tile to the left and gotten that, I would be able to get the Ruhr Valley. Kind of sucks, but eh, whatever. Let's keep going again. We're at turn 195, and we are just... Yeah, we're about to blow this game up, like, away, actually, not up. Uh, we're going to go sanitation right now. Factory, library. Uh, actually, go to Poland right now. The more science we could get, honestly, the better. We're going to be in a dark... Shut up, timer! We're going to be in a Dark Age next era. That's fine. The one problem is Plock. Even if we lose Plock, I mean, hey, we, 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 we really didn't need that city, did we? No, we don't need that city. We'll be fine. Get a granary up there, and let's finish up by getting that Niter Mine. Go back to Cracktown, and, uh, oh, I accidentally clicked next turn. Well, I guess that means we got to do one more turn, then. That is kind of the law. Uh, okay, these cities all should be converted soon. Let's go finish it up. Last turn. University. Uh, we'll go get Cahokia back because we need Cahokia, the Cahokian Mounds, all that good stuff. Got a Niter Mine up there. There's Rifling. And finally, another trade route to Cracktown. That's going to be it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, like, subscribe, comment. Next time we come back, it's just going to keep scaling up. By the time we come back next time and finish the video, guarantee you we'll have more science and culture than everybody combined. So, uh, yeah, see you all in the next video. Peace. Huge shout out to my members, Cash, Christian, Ben, Ombi, John Blair, Jackson Perez, Polaris Gaming, Empyrium, Adam Mester, Jeff Utzler, Kim Cosmos, a really special shout out to my oh my god subscribers, Robert and Overflow of Amenities.